Hi guys, welcome to Go Green, the Green Party show for the Colorado Green Party. Um, this week we're here with Victor Forsythe. I'm Adam Taylor, the co-chair co of the state party. Victor is actually the representative to the National Council here in Colorado for the National Party. Victor, did you want to talk about that a little bit? Well, yes, the Green Party has 10 key values and grassroots democracy being part of those values. And that's what we want to bring forth to the American people. They, they need to think about what uh, key values do their party has uh, mm -hmm. or have. And with uh, our party here in Colorado, uh, I'm uh, on the National Council and we vote on platform issues that affect, uh, well, how uh, the Green Party is representing itself as right. a uh, grassroots democratic organization. Right, and so your role um, at a national level representing Colorado, how, how does that affect Colorado? Well, we vote on issues such as, um, well, the platform of uh, Middle East peace, um, many other issues that, uh, how we are going to um, promote ourselves to the American people so that uh, the American people can get real change such as uh, going into the future, we're going to need jobs, we're going to have to get the oil monkey off our back, and by retooling America for alternative, free, non-polluting energy, we're gonna be creating jobs, real jobs. So people need to ask themselves, what uh, do these Republican or Democratic candidates have to offer us really to get jobs? Are they uh, continuing to outsource as the present administration is doing, or are they going to really bring jobs back to America? Absolutely. Uh, that's a very good point, talking about making renewable energies a free source of energy for, for everyone here in Colorado, specifically where we have an abundance of energy, is something that you know on a national level we can talk about creating a platform for um, as the Green Party. Um, tonight's show, we're focusing on, on one of our 10 key values, which is grassroots democracy. Uh, I think it's very vital to explain that we have these 10 key values and the reasons that those things exist. Um, the reason that our 10 key values have been created, um, they're the basis for our party. Um, grassroots democracy, um, coming from the ground up, literally, um, focuses, and the Green Party specifically, around a decentralized idea where local representatives then represent the national party. So it leads Victor into actually making platform changes, voting on the platform, and doing things from a state level and affecting a national level. And I think that that's something that a lot of people don't really get a chance to do, and I think that's a really nice opportunity for us to be able to look at our national party and make that, that connection so clearly coming from the bottom up. Absolutely. I think that's great. The secondary part of that is actually you know, working, obviously, as state co-chair and making Colorado's Green Party grow, um, you know, organizing and getting people together and doing things like that. We've been creating and sponsoring tons of events around town lately, um, around Denver specifically, and, and actually around the state. Um, in the next few months, we'll have lots of things going around the Kinsey for Senate campaign and, and also here in Denver for Gary Swing for Congress. <clears throat> in the next few minutes, we'll show you a couple of clips from a few of those actions that we've been doing. Um, every Friday night, outside of the Democratic Party headquarters, we, Democrat, we protest against the Democrats' continued funding of the wars um, in Afghanistan and Iraq. Um, I guess we're getting out of Iraq slowly, um, but it doesn't mean that that funding is going to end. So every Friday night, 4.30 to 5.30 here in Denver, we're, from, we're in front of Democratic Party headquarters protesting their continued funding of that war. Um, those wars specifically. Can I, I just yeah, like absolutely. to say that uh, the people need to take a different look at uh, this so-called war. What it really mm. is, is that the Pentagon mm. is a free escort and security service for big oil. That's right. really all it is, and you're paying for it. Uh, we're paying, as a country, uh, millions and millions of dollars that are getting into trillions of dollars, uh, and there's no accountability. Uh, for instance, on the day before, September 11th, 2001, Donald Rumsfeld announced that the Pentagon had misplaced <laughs> $2.3 trillion. Right. This is a huge amount of money. <laughs> and uh, it, 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 there, there is uh, uh, no accountability, as I say, and this money just continues to bleed us 
dry. Right. That's something that, you know, as the Greens, we have a real tie to um, Cynthia McKinney, who was a representative from Georgia at that point, ended up running for president under the Green ticket um, in 2008, grilled Donald Rumsfeld, Rum, Donald Rumsfeld about that specific topic, um, and he couldn't tell her where the money had gone, and, and it was a very heated argument. And, and I'm always really proud of that moment, um, discussing, you know, green politics and, and actually having Cynthia as a green, running as a green, um, and having those clips of her yelling at Donald Rumsfeld. It's a pretty, Absolutely. pretty So the, the idea basically for tonight is that we wanted to show everybody how our grassroots democracy model is working and, and what we're doing in the community to continue um, promoting the anti-war movement um, and making sure that it doesn't die off, um, as Cindy Sheehan has so eloquently wrote, written re recently um, in her um, requiem for, uh, for the anti-war movement. Um, just a great thing to really check out as far as, as um, anti-war writing. Um, it's, it's slowly but surely kind of gone onto the internet and gotten out of the streets, and, and we want to make sure as, as a grassroots group that, that we certainly keep it alive. Um, up next, we'll show you a couple of clips from two rallies, the one outside the Democratic Party headquarters and actually the longest running anti-war rally in Colorado, which is at 52nd and Wadsworth here um, just outside of Denver. Um, and we'll show you those clips now. And hopefully uh, more and more people will join us. Absolutely. And, uh, Welcome. Uh, it, it takes a lot of people to really get the media's attention these days. But uh, fortunately for us, there is the Art Walk here in Denver. And um, so there, there is a lot of exposure, even for the people who aren't ab able to see this on corporate TV because they ignore uh, these types of uh, demonstrations routinely. But, uh, and, and I became aware of this uh, back in the 80s when I was protesting against uh, World Bank yeah. uh, doing their destruction of the rainforest. They, uh, we had thousands of people out there and I went to see us on TV that night, nothing. Nothing. Absolutely yeah. nothing. Nothing. Very important. So this is our commercial. You know, this is us in the street showing people what we're about and that we're still here. Um, that the anti-war movement is not dead, that it's very much alive. And if the TV won't cover us, then we'll make sure that we see enough people to make sure that people know that it's still going. First Friday, it's uh, the Art Walk here on Santa Fe. Right. These are my friends, Alexander and Sean, who came all the way from Aurora to help us. Great. So, uh, what are you going to be doing afterwards? Well, I'm going to be manning a table for the Colorado Coalition for Prevention of Nuclear War at St. John's Cathedral. Okay. And that has something to do with the uh, uh, attacks on uh, the atomic attacks on Japan. That's right, because today's August the 6th, that's the 65th uh, anniversary of the uh, only use of uh, atomic bombs that were carried out by the United States, in fact, against Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Yes. And uh, the people at uh, St. John's Cathedral are sponsoring a workshop on peace and justice to uh, talk about all kinds of issues of uh, peace and war. Do you expect to see any Democrats or Republicans there? Oh, I imagine, yeah, you know. I don't expect to see a heck of a lot of Republicans. Uh, they, they, they have objected to the U.S. being present at, the, at Hiroshima today. Uh, for the first time in 65 years, the U.S. has had a representative there, and uh, official government representative. And they objected to that because they said, 